here is a quick way to do a simple cutscene in Godot. You can simply use an animation player to control the elements in the cutscene. So let's try to do a simple scene. Let's add a floor. And then let's say you can add a player and another one. And then you can animate anything with the keyframe. So let's say I want to animate something. I'll go in my animation player. Let's create a new cutscene. And then I only have to animate, let's say the player one, transform. Let's key the position at the start. And let's say here, I want it to go in the center and key here. So I have a small cutscene. This is the basic of making a cutscene. If your player already has a animation, you can start it. So uh, if we play it right now, uh, my players have a idle animation. But if I want to call, let's say the walking animation, I could go in my animation player, add track, and you can call a method on my player, right click, and you can insert a key and play anim. And here, arg, A-R-G-S, it's the argument. This is going to be a string, and the value will be walk. And if I try to start this, he's playing the walk animation. Then I can say that at the end, I'm going to play. I could stop the animation. And if I add more time, then I could say that the character fall down. So I click the small key to set the keyframe for these parameters and you can also play sound for that you need to add a audio stream player and then add track audio playback and this one here insert key drag your sound in there and it's going to play the sound oh and if you add keyframe for for some properties you have to to set the initial value at the start because else the player will be rotated always so let's just set my player reset everything uh not everything and then i can set the keyframe and that should be it so if i try that now that's a small cutscene that's pretty much the basics on how i do my small my simple cutscene if you need more complicated effects you can always call function like like this and activate stuff in the game so you could damage your player if you have a damage function. Let me show you some example of cutscene I made. So this is the intro in my game Crystal Sky 2. So I have the anim which controls everything. And I only have one animation and it contains everything that needs to be played. There's a voiceover. There's position of a lot of stuff, and when you play this, it's fading, and you have... After defeating the great evil mage, Ratmore, you tried to prevent the gravity crystal from collapsing. But it was already too late. The crystal shattered, releasing a significant amount of gravitational energy into the world. The land was absorbed. So yeah, that's how I did it. And you can do the same for text, because text you have other par parameters, percent visible. You can animate this. So you can do pretty much everything with just an animation player. So here I have my cutscene in Shadow Garden Graveyard. and. This one was for a game jam, and the cutscene here are cut more because the player can click next to uh, skip a, a part of the cutscene. So it's a bunch of small cutscene, you can say. And in, the, in this one, I have also voiceover. So when you start this from the beginning, it's uh, this. All right, you got it. And then uh, if the player will click next, it's going to start the next cutscene. Okay, let's cure you. Come a bit closer. So yeah, that's about it for the simple cutscene. You can do more advanced stuff if you 
connect some uh, function to it. Uh, you can also move the camera to follow path. Or you could have a zone in your world that when you enter it, the cutscene starts. So you control all of this with an animation player. That's about it. If you have any question or suggestion, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you.